Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to show you guys my cloth period pad stash. I have been wearing cloth period pads for just about four years now. I used to always wear the disposable pads. I actually never wore tampons. I've always only used the pads. Recently I have started using a diva cup and I really do like that but I have built up a nice collection of cloth pads and I really like all of them and all for different reasons. There's some that I wear for postpartum, there's some that I wear at certain times in my period. And I've had a lot of questions about what kind of pads I get, what brands, what they're made out of, how I use them in different stages of my periods. So I just thought I would make a video showing my whole cloth pad stash. So this is kind of a review of all my pads as well as just showing you what I do have. I made the switch over from disposable pads about four years ago just to decrease the toxins that are in our home. Disposable pads and tampons have a lot of toxins in them. They have all kinds of chemicals in them that can actually cause cancer and all kinds of other scary things. And so this is something you're putting in or on your vagina. So it needs to be not full of chemicals because especially that area is a really sensitive area. It's where you're gonna birth your babies. You wanna make sure that you are healthy down there, especially if you're in your childbearing years. But for any time in your life. It's just really important to not stick chemicals in your hoo-ha. <laughs> Cloth pads are actually not a super common thing. I think Diva Cups are getting a little more popular now, which is awesome, because those are also low waste and they also don't have chemicals or toxins. But I know this is not a super common thing, but I just want to educate all y'all on why I don't use disposable pads and what cloth pads I do like. Our family has been on this journey of becoming more healthy and clearing out as many toxins in our house as we possibly can. And this is just one of those things that I'm really excited that I've been using these for so long. I've cleared out a lot of toxins that are going on my body just by making this one switch. Because really you are, you have your period every single month unless you're pregnant, but still like you have your period every month. You're bleed for like five, seven days. That's like a long time over your whole lifespan to be putting chemicals on your body on your skin, which is the largest organ in your body, and it will absorb everything you put on it. So this is really important. But anyway, let's get right into this cloth pad stash. So here are the original pads that I got when I switched over to cloth pads. These I have had for just about four years and they are still going strong. I've actually been really impressed with how they've held up. The brand is Heartfelt. They are organic. They have this charcoal absorbency layer. So these are a medium size. They are 10 inches long and three inches wide. And then they have these snaps that you actually, so you lay this on the inside of your underwear and then you snap this around your underwear so that it holds the pad in place. So then your underwear going right through this hole right here. So then it holds it right in place, right? So it will catch all the blood. It has a really pretty design on the outside on this waterproof layer. And then to fold them up for storage, you just fold it in thirds and then you use those same snaps to attach it like this. That's how I store pretty much all my cloth pads. So this is a pack of five and I'm actually surprised I still have all five. For a while I lost a couple and then I found them in a purse that I wasn't using anymore. So I'm, I'm really surprised I have all five still, but that's what came in this pack. And this is $19 on Amazon. And I will link all of these packs down below. Most of them I got on Amazon, so I'll make sure that I link them for you guys if you wanna check them out yourselves. So these ones, this medium size, are the ones I use for like the majority of my period. They're big enough to catch the heaviest flow that I have on my period, which is really nice. I used to have really, really heavy periods when my thyroid was super high. I actually have Graves' disease. I've been able to manage it with diet and herbs and so I've actually been able to get my periods with down to way less bleeding and way less cramps just through diet and healing my thyroid. So at this point these actually will hold the highest flow I have during the month. Back before I would have to actually use like a super large like 14 inch pad <laughs> to hold all the blood. Here are the next pads. These are the same size as the last ones. You can see that they are just about the same size as my other pads that I've had for a long time. I'm actually liking these ones a lot better even. These are new ones. These are my newest pads that I've gotten. The Hi O company actually just sent these to me to review and try out and I have been really liking them. I don't tell you guys I like any products that I don't actually love myself and go along with my values and my beliefs, but I really like this company. And just how these are made, even though they're not a lot different, I've actually been liking them a lot better than the original pads that I have that are the same size. 
So these are the Hyo brand again. This is the period starter kit. There is six pads in this kit and it also comes with a waterproof bag to put them in. So if you're out and about and you can either store them in this so that they're ready to use or this is also a wet bag so you, when you're done and they're dirty you can put them in here and they won't like get the rest of your purse all bloody. <laughs> I forgot to say this is the wet bag that came with the original set. I'm actually using it for other pads right now but that that set did also have a wet bag that came with it. So these also have the charcoal absorbency layer on the front. They're black waterproof material on the back. They actually have two buttons here so you can adjust different sizes. You can adjust this bigger one or the smaller one. But the main difference that I like is that, I don't know if you can see this here, but it has this layer that comes out and this isn't attached to the flap. So that keeps it so that this stays flat even when it's attached to your underwear. So you can see this is sewn here. It holds out like that. So this is this can stay flat. That is the main difference that I really like about this. You can see with these other ones, that the whole, it's just one whole flap. It doesn't have an extra seam here to keep this flat. So on the other ones, it would have this seam here and then this would come out like this. This is black, so I'm not sure it's actually picking up in the camera, but that's the really the main difference. The thing with these is that after wearing them for several hours, they start to like, like kind of bend in the middle and it kind of rubs in sensitive areas <laughs> and that just gets kind of not super fun. Whereas with these, I find that I can actually wear them longer because they stay flat and they don't start rubbing in areas as fast. And so I really like that about these. I will make sure to link these on Amazon and Hyo's website. And these Hyo pads are $33 on Amazon. So a little bit more expensive than the other set, but there is one extra pad and I do actually like them better. Here is my third set of period pads. This set was one that I actually bought when I was pregnant with Ginny. I bought these as postpartum pads because these are the mega super long pads. <laughs> these are 14 inches, so you can see next to the regular ones, they are quite a bit bigger. So these are fabulous for postpartum bleeding. You bleed pretty heavily after you have a baby and I knew I was gonna be having enough babies. Lord willing, we plan on having a lot of kids, so it was gonna be worth it for me to buy a little set of postpartum pads. These also do really great if I do happen to have a really heavy period. It's nice to just have the extra support if I need it and I don't have to use extra toilet paper or wipes or something to stuff in there to try to keep it from leaking. So there's six pads in this set and it comes with this nice big wet bag that they can all fit in. It's really nice for storage. I tend to not have these on the go. So I actually just use this wet bag for storing it, not for putting dirty ones in, but it's nice and big. And it has this extra pocket on the front with this extra zipper. And actually all of these ones are different prints, which is different than my other two sets. The other two sets are all of the same print, which is fine, but these ones are all different. So I got these on Amazon. They are the extra large, heavy flow size, and for all six pads and the wet bag, it was $26. So these are all actually really, really affordable options for period pads. I would love to someday be able to buy some ones on Etsy because those are just super cute, super customizable. There's a ton of different options and I also love supporting small shops. So someday when we have a little bit more money to spend, I would love to increase my cloth pad stash with some handmade ones from Etsy shops or different places. I actually have a few Etsy shops with cloth pads that have been recommended to me by other YouTubers and friends. So I will link those below if you want to check out some good Etsy shops with handmade pads, which I haven't tried personally, but I've tried, I've heard awesome things about them. For me personally, I, I have just ones that are really affordable and inexpensive off of Amazon, and that works just fine for me. So you really don't have to spend a lot on this, and it's like a one-time purchase. I don't have to keep buying disposable pads for the rest of my life, which I love. So the last thing in the stash is what I'm using this extra wet bag for, and this is interlabial pads. So there's just these little pads, just really small. I have eight of these and I will link some good articles on how to use these and how to put them in because it was kind of confusing for me at first. You can, there's different ways you can fold them. You can fold them down like this. You can fold them like this. So they basically just get inserted right, right inside your vagina. So when I first started using these, it was very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> 
And as I've gotten more used to them, I've started to like them a bit more. I do enjoy them for like the last anime period when I'm starting to bleed less. It's just kind of spotting by that point. So I have to wear something, but I might at that point be tired of wearing the big bulky, bulkier pads. My friend actually made these for me. I actually hadn't even heard of them until she made some for me and asked if I wanted to try them out. I will link some similar ones on Amazon if I can find them, but these are, these are a good option if you don't want to get the big pads or you don't bleed super heavily. So yeah, that is my cloth pad stash. I have super light interlabial pads. I have a bunch of medium, like 10 inch, kind of mid absorbency pads. And then I have some big heavy duty, heavy flow, 14 inch pads for postpartum bleeding. I do also have my Diva Cup but that doesn't really count as a cloth pad, so it's not gonna be in this video. And that setup works really great for me. That's actually more than I really need. It's kind of a big stash. <laughs> I really only need like seven pads, like one for each day of my period. My periods are usually five days, so that would make it so that I had two extra ones just in case. But it's nice to have extra, so I can I put some in my purse, some in the diaper bag, some I wanna put some at my mom's house, just to kind of spread out a little bit so if I start my period and not at home, <laughs> then I'll be set and not have to like use toilet paper. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and kind of giving you some ideas of what I use for cloth pads and also some different resources of where you can get them. So if you like videos like this, let me know by liking this video and subscribing. And if you have any other video requests, anything at all about our life, what I do for zero waste things, for removing toxins in our house, just let me know any video requests and I will be sure to add them to my list. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!